Youngstown Phantoms postgame interviews are presented by the YMCA. Brett, much better from the drop of the puck today. What did you think? Yeah, I thought we were more just direct, played in straight lines. Uh, for us to be successful, I, I think that's that's a necessity, especially early in a game. Um, you know, I, I didn't feel it was much different than, say, the second or third period last night, but um, you know, I, I think we generated and, you know, we were physical. We put pucks at the net. Um, obviously pleased with uh, the bounce back. Charlie Larry with a big goal tonight. How big has he been for this club since you acquired him uh, a couple months ago? Yeah, uh, for sure. He's standing right in behind us, so I won't talk to him. No, but he's he's been great. Uh, he's a shooter. He's a threat to score all the time. Um, has some great chemistry with uh, with Wallace. Uh, both coming out of the same program in Shattuck there. Um, but both guys that have been instrumental in, in our success. And Kenta Isagai, two big goals tonight. Kenta has been kind of quiet, doesn't show up on the score sheet a lot, but he does a lot of the little things that you don't see that really help this team win. Yeah, yeah, you can't say that enough. He's, we call him like a driver, uh, and and you need those guys on your team. Uh, you know, they can drive a play with their feet, drive a play with their hands. Um, he's not. There's nothing. There's nothing about his game he can't play in. He, he plays for 200 feet. He plays in our end. He takes big draws. Uh, you know, if if anything, he, I think there's been times this year where he's probably played too much, um, and that's just a comfort level from from us and. You know, knowing that he knows what what to do in different situations, uh, I think tonight tonight is it's great to see him on the score sheet. He, he gets he gets back shoulder all the time. Like to, for him to get that goal tonight, it's a big time goal for us early in the game. Um, but if you watch on a nightly basis, he does that once or twice, and that's that's one of the hardest areas to get to on the on the ice sheet, especially against uh, defenders in the U.S. Chuck. And I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the job that Jacob Fowler did in net for you tonight. Didn't seem like there were maybe, you know, too many difficult degree of saves, but still very quiet in the net, not a lot of motion, and was there when he needed it. For sure. He, uh, he's, he's rock. Um, you know, he, he's, sound, he's sound, he's agile, he's, he's great on the bench, he's great with his teammates, you know, all those all those small things that, that add up. Uh, he has a great relationship with, with Kyle, you know, having those two guys that communicate constantly. Um, they're both studying the game and, and studying game tape, and, you know, they, they push each other to get better, and, and he's been a welcome addition, obviously. Uh, Brad, can you talk about the line of uh, Lachance? Uh, he's a guy in Bettens tonight. I just, it seemed like right off the bat, uh, those three were flying on the ice. Yeah, you know, we, we switched a bunch of different things up front, um, and I thought, like you just said it, I think there's a little bit of a little bit of everything on that line, um, and definitely generated momentum. Uh, the goals were great, but you know, the, as far as them generating the momentum early in a game, uh, I thought they did that to a T. And, and really, all the lines, um, you know, I think at some point we're generating, and, and some guys, some guys hadn't been together at all, um, you know, so. We're, Moving into this week, we, we have a pretty healthy group up front, which we haven't had. You know, we've had guys go out pregame skates. We've had, like, it's been a, a weird set of circumstances over the past couple weeks, but, um, you know, to have a healthy group up front and be able to, to have a full practice week here at Cadillac would be good for. All right, thanks, Brett.